The UAE has set itself a big aim to become a completely cashless society within the next few years. While cash still dominates, innovations like Apple Pay and Samsung Pay have helped to make digital payments a reality in the region. Global digital payments provider Visa reported that two years ago, contactless transactions in the UAE accounted for just 2% of face-to-face -face transactions. Today, that number is around 30%. So progress is being made. A study commissioned by Visa also found that increased usage of digital payments such as cards and mobile payments could yield a net benefit of up to $2.2 billion annually for consumers, retailers and the government in Dubai alone over the next few years. To find out more about the development of this fast-growing sector, we went inside the Visa Dubai Innovation Center, a new 4,000 square feet facility designed to serve the company's Central and Eastern Europe. Middle East and Africa clients and partners in building cashless economies. User expectations and digital disruption is rising at a pace unprecedented in the past. We've set up this network of innovation centers so that we can collaborate with our clients, our partners, our fintechs, merchants to build new products that users love. Uh, in these centers, we use um, agile and design thinking methods to get things out really quickly and um, in a way that consumers would love. And we have a team of designers, developers, and payment experts who work with our partners throughout the ecosystem to build the products of the future. So we've been working on a range of products and a range of uh, topics on how commerce can be made more seamless and more secure. One big trend we're seeing in this region is the emergence of super apps. These could be driven by messaging platforms, internet companies, banks, or even telcos. One of the recent projects that we took live was with Privat Bank, Ukraine's largest bank, where we help them build a marketplace that allows users to get insurance, tickets, food, transport, and a whole lot of other services. As global travel takes up, another trend we see is the user's increased need for transparency and control over their foreign exchange pens. SAB's Umlati, literally My Currencies, is a multi-currency digital wallet. It gives users the ability to exchange currency rates within the app and be able to load up the currency they need when they travel at great rates and in a transparent way. If you look at our region, it's made huge strides in terms of getting more people into the formal financial system, but there are still millions and millions of people and merchants that still use cash and still lose out on the benefits of digital payments. For me, the biggest challenge would be how do we get more of them uh, into banks, into formal payment systems, and how do we get more merchants able to accept digital currencies?